Right, here we are. Game day. Quarter final against Belgium. We'll have a little look at their team first before we dive into today's game. And then we'll also hopefully, this won't be the last episode of the series, hopefully we'll have a look at the semi-final draw. Let's get into it. Italy versus Belgium. World Cup quarterfinal. Let's go. But still, Badger. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right, so here we are, Belgium quarterfinal. Let's have a little look. They're ranked 10th. And bearing in mind, we're eight years in. They've got some, obviously, some younger players. <laughs> Toby Alderweireld is still playing at 37. He's pretty good for a 37 year old. They've got Origi, who is actually a free transfer at the moment, but he looks like he's on his way somewhere. Ajax. They've got a load of players Lukaku, Munier, obviously Hazard. Let's have a little look at Hazard. He's now at Gladbach at 35. He's doing all right, isn't he? I can't, I can't see them being better than us. Tielemans, Jack Toll. Whoa, look at him for a left back. Good job, he's a left back. Oof, oof. oof. 17 tackling. Wow, he's a beaut. He's an absolute beaut. Okay, this could be our first, first real test. They only finished second to Tunisia. Okay. And how did they do the last few games? So they've had loss, lost against Tunisia and then they've beaten Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Ivory Coast quite comfortably. Only conceded one goal in these games. So obviously they are still good at the back. Right. Let's pick our team. Pinamonte in. A midfield of... Is Barella back? Barella... Bar be Barella is back. Lazar is going to have to play. Melagoni's done so well for us, though. Might I'm going to have to go Melagoni, I think. No, we'll go Barella. We'll go Barella. Everyone else looks fit. We're going to change the two centre halves over. Let's get our main two back in. Rogani and Romagnoli. Get them back in. Emerson's done well. Emerson's actually on a free at the moment as well. That's a good good pick up for somebody. Um, Lazare, Barella, Zanoli, he is a Pinamonte, Catron, Pellegri. I think we'll keep the front two as they are. Sacamonde can stay on the bench. It can be more of a backup, I think, now for he is, and we'll look at keeping Catron and Pellegri as a front two. Pinamonte back in, who's missed the last couple of games. He's done well. Four goals in two games. He'll be wanting to get on the score sheet today. So, let's get into it. Obviously, can't name. Calabria, silly boy. There's a real big test now to see how, how well we get on with the 4-2-4 against the better side. When we played in the UEFA Nations League, we went 3-4-3. So they're going with a sort of like a deep 4-2-3-1 Charlie Mazonda. They've got Richards. He's Barcelona. He's, he's all right. He's obviously going to be a decent prospect. They aren't even playing tall. They've got a Rigi up front. Oh, my God. We can't lose this, surely. Can we? Right, here we go. Quarter final time. This is the the exciting bit. Right, Origi's off for them. Who have they brought on? Emerson free kick. Just over. Not sure who they actually brought on. Lukaku's on. Lukaku is on. Right, Richard. It's the first. Highlight of the game for them. We've won it. Pinamonte. We're going to break. Let's find Pellegri's feet. He's trying to do it himself. We're going to get a pass in. He has. He slipped in Pellegri. We've found Barella. Out wide to Chiesa. We've done well. We've worked this really nice. Chiesa. Surely a tap in. Own goal. Own goal by Laurent, was it? I think it was. Thomas Laurent. What a move that was. Decisions to pass. Brilliant run from Chiesa. And yeah, well, who was it was there anyway? Catron was there to tap it in. 1-0 up. Wouldn't say in control. It's been pretty even look. Right. Uneventful first half. Suppose we can't go out and blow every team away. We're just going to have to stay, as Graham Sooner says, concentrated. Right. First highlight of the second half. 51 minutes in. 
Just do we get in a second goal? There's not been much in the game, so that's always a little bit of a worry. Catron's clipped in Pellegrini. Here he is. Here he is. He does not fuck about. I cannot wait. So I don't like signing players for both saves, but I'm going to try and make a point because obviously Man United need a striker. So FM20 need to get Pellegrini in as a striker. I'm not going to obviously go Harry Kane. And then for AC Milan as well because we're trying to build that Italian legacy of players backing at the club. Someone like Pellegrini to be with us throughout. I think I don't know how hard it's going to be to get him away from Monaco. Obviously, they're out of Europe. Oh, they're going to get one back here. No, we've cleared. Be interesting to see how Monaco do in the game in FM20. So, if hopefully, they don't do very well and don't get Champions League. We might be able to snap him up. Right, 63 gone. I think after this highlight, we're just going to have a little look at the subs. It's gone all the way across to Catron. Barella loves a hit. Just wide. Right. Middle, the middle two worry me a little bit, and the centre half. I've never known a centre half be so unfit. Let's go, Caldara. I'm a bit worried about these two as well. Well, let's get Melagoni on because we've got enough quality, and we'll leave the last one again. Just trying to keep everyone fit. Always trying to think of the next game, really. I think at the moment we can afford to do that. Yana's eyes picked it up. Dendonka. Am I going to speak way too soon here? Jordan Lukaku. Is he going to find Romelu? He has. They've scored. Okay. Okay. Right, so an interesting last 20 minutes. We've got a highlight. Why is my left back taking a throw in? All the way in there. Sort that for the next game. Barella. Malagoni. Pellegri. Hit the post. Catron. Corner. We're going to go cautious as well. Penalty. We've been given a lifeline. Well, we're not not a lifeline. Oh, he's going to VAR. He's going to VAR. Here he goes. Penalty. Shock. Absolute shock. Who's taking it? Pinamonte. Keeper the wrong way. Get in. Two goal lead restored. Let's get. Oh, let's go. I think we just missed Kier. No, he's daft, but I always think Kier's has got the likelihood of getting injured. Sakamandi can come on. 3 1. We're going through to the semi finals. Lovely penalty as well. Put the keeper the wrong way. We're not finished by the looks of it. Sakamandi. Pellegri with a header. He's going to get rebound. He has done. 4 1. Smashes it in. Is that his seventh? I think it is his seventh. Be like breaking records. Cleared. They're going to get another one. I don't want to concede another. Doesn't deserve to be 4 2. But they're in. Richard, the youngster from Barcelona, has absolutely smashed that in. It's a little bit disappointing. Might have come from how I've set up set pieces. Barella's dead. So he's going to probably miss the next game by the looks of it. Clipped a lovely ball into Catron. Catron blocked. Sakamandi. And that's going to be full time. There it is. Not the greatest of performances. It's good though. Once again, I said like last episode, because we can score lots of goals, I always find fancy as hopefully... Not keeping clean sheets is a little bit of a problem, but because we've got all that firepower up front, we'll just blow teams away at the other end. And that's what we've done again. Semi-final. So when's this coming out? Thursday. So Tuesday's episode. Tuesday's episode. Semi-final. Who's it going to be against? I'm going to say, I think it'll be Spain. Italy proves surprise package. I wouldn't necessarily say that. What's the record? Harry Kane, six. I think we're going to beat that. Pellegrini's already on eight. Eight in five games, two games to go. Surely, ten. Most goals in a, comp in a World Cup. I'm going to say six. Six, seven. I wouldn't have thought it'd be any more than that. Right, let's find out who we're going to play. So we've got a few days. We've got one, two, we've got three rest days. Uruguay have made it through. 
who obviously they were in our group. Emerson suspended. We have got Pellegrini to come back in. And it is going to be Portugal. Portugal, our opponents. Uruguay, Argentina. Pretty much how we expected, apart from Spain losing to Portugal. Bit of a surprise. Bernardo Silva getting a goal. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Fucking hell. Aye, aye, aye. Right, so Tuesday's episode will be Portugal. Now, unfortunately, we've got Emerson suspended. And I'd have thought, I thought yellow cards might have cleared. Doesn't seem to be the case. How many players? We're going to have to be a little bit. I know we're thinking ahead maybe a little bit too much here, but it'd be good to know how many are on yellow cards. Is there a way for me to look at yellow cards? There will be. Right, so Pinamonte's got one. Barella's had his. Pinamonte two? Was he suspended? Maybe then. Romagnoli. Emerson. Okay, so we might be looking at Romagnoli. Potentially Pellegrini. Potential players that might miss the final. But guys, that is it. Maybe you're getting a bit too carried away there. So the Tuesday's episode, Portugal. If we get past Portugal, if we get past Portugal, the final will take place on Saturday of next week. From end of the season coming to an end. Series is finished this weekend. This Saturday it's finishing. So that'll leave us a little slot on a Saturday morning. So hopefully World Cup final on Saturday, probably against Argentina. Right, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that kind of thing. And we'll see you next week. Cheers, see you later.